Gene therapy for HIV, how does it work? Today, HIV has only been cured under specific circumstances, but tomorrow, there will be a safe, scalable therapeutic available at scale. Gene therapy is a scientific method used by scientists and doctors to give curative genes to a patient's cells. Because of the current technological advancements, it is possible to know the abnormal gene responsible for a given genetic disease and then correct it using gene therapy. With gene therapy, it is possible to fix the root cause of the malfunction and create cells that manage a patient's disease instead of relying on constant medication. This modern treatment method allows patients to live normal lives without the side effects of drugs and making previously incurable conditions curable. In our previous videos, we explained that HIV integrates its DNA with our own DNA when it infects susceptible cells. Thus, we can also say that HIV causes an acquired genetic disease. This also means that we have the opportunity to combat HIV at the genetic level. Researchers currently approach this in different ways. Some researchers use gene therapy alone, some use what we call cell therapy, and others combine cell therapy and gene therapy. Any of this can theoretically combat HIV infection. Let's show you how it will happen. For most people, exposure to HIV leads to infection. There are people whose immune cells are resistant to the HIV infection, and this is the secret weaknesses of HIV in providing researchers with a way to defeat the virus. Now let's explain how the gene therapy is done in a simple way. Note that this is a highly simplified explanation. Remember that HIV destroys our immune cells. Before HIV can enter our immune cells, the cells must have on its surface a receptor called the CCR5. The CCR5 on the surface of our helper T cells is an important part of a cell's susceptibility to HIV infection. So, doctors and scientists tested the hypothesis that says immune cells without CCR5 could resist HIV infection. The result was a miraculous cure of HIV. For example, as a treatment for leukemia, Brown received a bone marrow transplant from a donor with a natural mutation in CCR5, which in turn resulted in an immune system with cells that did not have CCR5. Among these cells were HIV-resistant helper T cells which could coordinate an antiviral immune response and successfully fight the remaining HIV in Brown. Today, the Berlin patient is joined by the London, New York, City of Hope, and Dusseldorf patients, who all had variations of the cells without the CCR5 stem cell transplant procedure. They have all been declared HIV-free. Now that this has worked, a new problem arises: How many donors of this HIV resistance T-cells can we get? Secondly, the fear of future rejection is also another concern since this is a tissue from another person. This problem necessitates another approach, called cell therapy, which is now being investigated by researchers. Cell therapy aimed to add additional layers of HIV protection. This additional layer of protection is achieved by one. Re-engineering T-cells from the patient and returning them back to the patient as cells that are resistant to HIV. 2. Using helper T-cells which have been given specialized anti-HIV genes. And a third layer of protectin added by using subset of T-cells which recognize HIV antigens. Helper T-cells are central to the adaptive immune system and the primary target of HIV infection. So protecting these cells allows them to coordinate an anti-HIV response without simply becoming infected. Using the right cell culturing techniques, we can take normal T cells from the body, selectively expand the subset of T cells which recognize HIV antigens, and then make the enriched T cells resistant to HIV. The result is a population of HIV resistant T cells which are enriched in their capability to overcome HIV. These cells can then become memory T cells and enhance many other aspects of the anti HIV immune response. Since these T cells are engineered from patients' own cells, and no new proteins are generated upon engineering, these cells can be returned to the patient without fear of being rejected. To match theory to reality, this was tested extensively during the preclinical phase. The next step was to infuse these genetically engineered T cells into human trial participants. This has been done and the results has been outstanding. However, clinical trials continue. As each clinical study is completed, data from the clinic will be analyzed, explained, and published. We will posting other updates on this. Kindly subscribe to our channel to be notified about when the video is out. Today, HIV has only been cured under specific circumstances, but tomorrow, there will be a safe, scalable therapeutic available at scale. As we progress towards a cure for HIV, kindly subscribe to our channel for latest scientific and medical update. Note that, knowledge is advancing by the day and we will like to always post an update on new advances on how to stay healthy. You can contact us via the link in the description below for any medical inquiry. You are watching Zoom Hospital channel and listening to work of Dr. Cariorty.